Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how it feels to be 21. So I turned 21 five days ago on September the 4th, 2023. And I'd say it feels really good to be 21 because now I'm old enough to do some cool things that adults that are 21 or over can actually do. And what I decided to do on my 21st birthday my mom and I went to the liquor store. I've never been to a liquor store and the first time I ever went to a liquor store, it wasn't that bad. It, actually, it was actually right next to a gas station and as soon as I went in, it looked like the inside of a gas station, but it just had a whole bunch of alcohol in there. Liquor, booze, beer, margarita, wine, all the stuff you can imagine that have alcohol in them. And the reason why I wanted to go is because I wanted to drink this specific watermelon margarita that I've had before. I've had it before, um, back in Kansas a couple of months ago when I was just hanging out with family. And that margarita was really good. And I was thinking, you know what? I wanna drink that specific margarita on my birthday. And that's what I did. It took my mom and I a while to find it. And then as soon as we found it, we, we bought it and went to Chili's afterwards just to order in and stuff like that because not a whole lot of food places were open on Labor Day. So after we went to Chili's and the liquor store, we went back home, had our lunch, and watched some old home videos of myself and my family members. And looking back at those old home videos that I, have, I haven't watched in a while, I'd say I was a bit cringy back then. Because all the things I used to say back then, I still say to this day, like repeat myself. Good Lord, I could not tell you how many times I repeated myself as a kid. I was like max. I try not to repeat myself nowadays, but back then I would not shut the fuck up. <laughs> who, who, what, what any other kid wouldn't stop being quiet? But thank God my mom had the patience to deal with my repetitive you know, speech patterns. You know how my mom is. Actually, some of you don't know my mom, so. Anyway, after watching some home videos, it was time for the cake and the alcohol. My mom took some pictures. My dad sang happy birthday, which still don't like that song. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't horrible. It's just still don't like it. And then after a while, had a slice of cake and drank that watermelon margarita and it was good. And I posted pictures on Instagram and it, oof. Those were some really good pictures. Those are, that's for the books. And then I continued to watch old home videos and drink my alcohol. I remember telling myself that I'm never gonna drink alcohol or do anything like that. I fucking lied to myself, y'all. I lied. I said I was never gonna drink alcohol and look where I am now, drinking margarita. Only one specific kind. Any other alcohol that I've taken sips over the years, those alcohols were terrible, but this one in particular was really good and that's why I picked it. And I wanted to know what it felt like to be tipsy. You heard it right, folks. I wanted to be tipsy, to get a buzz. I wanted it. And the first drink, nothing. Didn't feel anything. But that wasn't until the second or third drink that I started to feel something. If you guys want to know what it's like to feel tipsy because y'all never had alcohol before, I'll give you a brief description. So once I was on my third drink, I started to feel it. I started to really feel something in me. It's like I'm in a slow spinning ride. You know that song, Slow Ride? That was going on in my whole body, in my mind. It wasn't, it wasn't painful or anything, not like a headache or a migraine. It was just the weirdest feeling I felt. Just sitting there watching home videos, feeling the tipsy slowness and then watching more and I'm like, wow, that, this is the most craziest and coolest feeling I've ever felt. And I'd say I do not regret being tipsy 
one bit. I told my dad that. <laughs> and I'd say it was the be one of the coolest birthdays I've ever had. Getting tipsy for the first time, drinking alcohol, having cake, spending some time with family at home since it was Labor Day. I kind of wish my older brother was here. <laughs> He would not stop laughing if he saw me drink alcohol. <laughs> anyway, if that if you guys wanted to know what feeling tipsy is like, watch this video again. You'll see. And if you don't believe me that if you don't think that this is how tipsy feels like to you, let me know what it felt like for you when you were tipsy, when you were first drinking alcohol. But if I want to get drunk, no, I don't know if I want to be drunk. Because I hear that a lot of crazy things happen when you're drunk. Like, you'll start to feel, like, even more woozier than when someone's tipsy. But if you're blackout drunk, you won't remember shit. And then after that, you know what comes next. The big, fat, annoying, painful hangover you get the next morning. And then you just go to the bathroom and... <laughs> puke all that stuff out that just went in the inside of your body. Yeah, it was kind of, it was gross. I never had a hangover before. I never had a hangover before. I'd never been drunk, and I am ne I am not sure if I want to be drunk. Tipsy? Fine. If I ever want to be tipsy again, hell yeah, sure. I'll I'll try and be tipsy again someday. <sighs> it was wild. It was a wild experience. I really enjoyed it. Don't regret it one bit. Now this whole thing, maybe in 21, this is for the books. This is something I'll never forget. And now that I'm posting this on YouTube, neither of you guys will forget. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.